hope you're having a good day. This is Teddy. So I am back with the second episode of our PDR sneak peek. And for this episode, we are on a version 1.9.3. But before we continue, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and of course, hit the notification bell if you wanted to be updated with the videos that I am posting. So for this uh, patch, we have a version 1.9.3. And there, they added two more heroes to cover Generation 5 along with Brooke, as well as a new hero exchange thing where you can exchange your heroes to a higher level heroes. And let's proceed to that. So for you to exchange your heroes, all you gotta do so the last episode, I showed you the stats of Brooke. But then this... This is a new update and my phone is quite laggy at the moment. But then at the moment, let's see her stat. Brooke is an infantry, a siege and a rally. And we already cover this name, but we can just go back. And then her story is due to her fighting style and recklessness in the battle. People often assume that Brooke was a professional boxer. Despite this aggression in the field, Brooke has a, has a surprisingly sweet personality. Of course, if you wrong her, you'll see a whole different side of her personality. Under normal circumstances, however, you'll be graced with a kind-hearted smile, especially when she's with Candy or her elders. Brooke always wears a special necklace, although it doesn't look like it's made from a precious material, it means the world to her. So her stats, like she is a, an infantry, a siege, and a rally. And how to level up her rank or skills is pretty similar to Generation 4 Heroes. You don't need skill books, you just need to upgrade her rank. So for the stats, her military is basic benefits, is much capacity is 12.9. Her infantry attack is 390.85, infantry defense is 390.85 as well. Enemy settlement troop lethality is negative 31.80%, rally troop lethality is plus 21.15%, infantry health is 45.07, and infantry lethality is 46.44. But this is level 7, 70. So I have an updated version of her for level 80. And it will be po it is already posted on our website it is already added on our discord bot as well as the official website of the colab team just so you know guys for those who haven't known yet so we are a team of different players who made websites made calculators for the game that is um lan ray leo vito vito is a content creator and then Max and uh, Request are the ones that are doing our SLTF files, as well as seven days events. And then uh, Ted, as well as Leo, are the two guys who hop in our Discord server. And Len Ray is the one who do the calculations and different trips. And then we added a new guy, we have Slayer, who is really, really good with Discord bot. So are all of our files my, from my website, from Len Ray's website, from the Colab Team's website, is synchronized into the Discord bot that Slayer made. And it's an easy access. So all you gotta do is just file commands and it will show you the list of the informations like literally from trips for heroes for different events and etc and if you don't have that yet for now uh, there are 65 servers that are using our discord bot for free we don't charge we don't work for just a disclaimer we don't work for sos we don't work for king's group this website and this discord bot are made free by our surely we don't get any compensation for that so if you guys wanted to invite the bot of if you wanted to be a part of our discord server you can send me a message on my discord uh in my discord or you can see the the links on the description box below so going back they have the generation five heroes you have brooke and oh you also have the new two new heroes so for you to be able to locate the two new heroes you can they give you an access for hero exchange so we have the generation four jared and you can have it exchange to 
a generation 5 so for generation 5 since i only have a level 30 the hero is hero power is 3.1 million hero attack all of the max uh, stats of this heroes of new heroes i will be adding it on my website also in the discord server of the collab team as well as the discord bot shortly maybe after i made this video so all you gotta do is it give you an option to switch your heroes to new heroes so for example you are on generation three now and then next one it will be introduced generation four so you will be able to exchange the generation three into generation four and since we are in pdr and it's generation five that is being offered here they can exchange your generation for heroes like the same level of your heroes to exchange it to the same level of the new hero so i have been going to exchange her chariot my chariot is only level 30 because i stopped spending i'm not spending anymore so i just skip them in a low level so we have to exchange him with tyler and then we got like exchange and there you go we have tyler automatically and then jared is gone so we have the new tyler guy his story is tyler kurtz also known as the wolf boy is a child raised by a wolf even after returning to human society some habits have been carved into his bones such as keeping his long nails which makes him feel safe and when he is emotional he could only howl to the sky to fight against mid and creatures, Curse has his own set of methods, self-made wooden bows and arrows. This, there is no hurry in running out of bullets. Of course, compared to bows and arrows, the cooperation of he and his two brothers is more, much more fatal. Their tactic, understanding, and swiftness are not inferior to thermal weapons. The names of the two wolf brothers are black and white. This also makes them feel awkward in the face of Frank since their names don't seem to be powerful enough. This is normal. No one expects the wolf boy to have a great naming technique. In this world, high combat power is more important than a nice name, which is really true, guys. So Tyler Kurtz is a hunter. He is also a patrol and then a rally. And then I already maxed him. He copied all of the ranks of my previous heroes. So I have Generation 4 Heroes, level 30. He copied all the skills or the rank skills, the rank, and the cetera of that guy. So for that one, uh, his max, don't watch this one, guys. I will be reading the max uh, stats of him. So his march capacity is 13.4 thousand. Hunter attack and hunter defense is 390.85%. His settlement troop health is plus 63.50. Rally troop attack is plus 21.15. His hunter health is 82.01%. And then his hunter lethality is 118.76. So his first skill is Thorn Strap. Every 5 attacks will arrange a turn trap, causing additional 150% damage to the target, with additional 100% damage in the following attack. The second skill is 2 first wolves that is inspired by the wolves, common attack damage caused by trips will be plus 40%. And his last but not the least skill is the feral instinct. Fowler stimulates his feral instincts when fighting and the damage of his trips to riders is 20%. The damage to the infantry is also 20%. So that is his max stats. He looks cute. And then next one, let's exchange Zack. So I'm going to exchange Zack with a new hero. That is Julia Garcia. So her max stat is Explore Calls for Julia for support and bombarded the target area causing 2,000.63.88 damage. Military when Julia attacks, there is a 20% probability to summon her in reinforcements causing additional 100% damage to all enemy forces and restoring health equivalent to normal attacks that is 100% to all troops. Her second skill is for explorer julia takes out the netting gun and shot trapping the infected in the range and stunning them for 4.2 seconds so this will be her level 5 and then let's exchange here her and since my zack is only level 35 so she will be copying the level 35 of my sack for the rank for the level as well as this rank of skills so let's exchange 
And there she goes. So Julia is a rider, a siege, and a patrol. And let's read her storyline. So Julia Garcia, a Spanish girl who is full of secrets, is one of the people Becca Hoffman wants to met, meet the, mo the most. Proficient in archery, gun skills, and close combat, fond of lore art, cooking, and music. These are Julia's keywords, but it can also uh, can also be used to describe Becca. So, what is the relationship between Julie and Becca? Ten years ago, Julie left without saying goodbye, leaving only a wolf head badge. Becca could only see her mother Julie in her dream. Ten years later, the wolf head badge was polished by Becca's longing. Julie and Becca finally meet again, and things don't seem to be that simple. In the heart of Julie, who was served as a mercenary, Becca is always the softest part. Anyway, she used to be Becca's mother for nine years. As for the future, as long as Becca is willing, Julie will always stand Becca behind. So that is her stats. Let's see her military stats. I will be checking it from my guide. So here... So her max stat is her basic benefits is much capacity is 13.4 thousand rider attack and rider defense is 390.85 percent enemy settlement trip attack is at negative 31.80 percent settlement trip lethality is 63.50 rider health is 108.15 rider lethality is 101.65 so that is her standard um standard stat and for her skills skill one is fire coverage when julie attacks there is a 20 percent probability to summon her reinforcement causing additional 100 damage to all enemy forces and restoring health equivalent to normal attacks that is 100 percent for all troops her second skill is capture. All troops cause damage to the target. They attack for additional plus 20%. And then the last but not the least is the mercenary training that is damage your own infantry unit for negative 30%. Damage caused by your own, hunt own hunters will be 30%. And then let's go back to Brooke. Let's do a recap for Brooke. So Brooke's uh, stats... I'm actually looking my my notes on my website because I can't remember it. So let's find her, Brooke. So for Brooke, Brooke is an infantry. As well as she is a siege and a rally. So let me find her first on my notes. So there. So her march capacity is 13.3 thousand. Infantry attack and defense is 391.70%. Her enemy settlement trip defense is negative 31.80. Rally trip defense is 21.15. Her infantry health is 111.55 and then her infantry lethality is 82.10%. So for her first scale that is a denting blow, make one denting blow in every four attacks. Deal extra 202.5 damage to the enemy, enemy damage dealt in the next round will be negative 20. Her second skill is sidestep, that is 30% chance to evade damage. And her last skill is the counter strike, that will ally damage taken is negative 9%, and then ally damage to enemies is 8%. So those are the new two new heroes, guys. But before I go, I wanted to show you again the new features and how this... Uh, hero gear looks like so this is the new look of the new hero gear and instead you have for you going for the head for this one the next upgrade will be level four and then those are the stats so for you to be able to enhance that you'll just need to so 
gear showcase a brawler we have the bravery the fearless you have the brutal and you have a destruction suit so there are four they added this destruction suit here let's see for the marksman so they have the steady they have the hunting they have the little set and then the last is one is the imperious suit now for the scout or the, the riders you have nimble set parker phantom and then the ghost set so i will be adding a lot of these notes on my website or our website in the colab website i just wanted to up my infantry so there you go so that's it for today guys the patch is version 1.9.3 but for the timeline i really don't know when is it going to be added to the main server or the launch date but i will be posting announcement on our discord server as well and so on to other servers of my friends so that's it for today guys see you in my next videos bye